Assault Rifles can be pretty good, especially in early rounds in Vanguard Zombies. The STG-44 is no different, but with 70 levels to max the thing out and 7 attachments you can use, it can be hard to know what exactly the best setup is. Don't worry, I've got you covered. This is going to be my weapon guide for the STG-44 in Vanguard Zombies. We'll go ahead and go over every attachment you can get on this weapon, give you guys my suggestions on what the best attachment to use for zombies, as well as give you guys suggestions on what covenants I think you should run with this weapon. So if you find this guide helpful, remember to hit the like and subscribe for more. Now let's get into it. Now the STG was a little tricky because unlike some of the other weapons I've made reviews for, there's multiple attachments that can affect your damage output. And it's not just your damage output, but also affecting your body shot damage as well as your headshot damage. So there's a lot of choices to consider. So for example, if we start with the barrel attachments for the STG-44, you can get the VDD 320mm O2B, the VDD 760mm O5B, the Krosnik 620mm Precision, or the Krosnik 220mm Rapid. These are all the barrel attachments for the STG-44. Now starting with the barrel attachments, this is probably one of the hardest decisions you have to make because you really have to decide what's more important to you. Do you want more body shot damage, more headshot damage? Do you want faster sprint to fire time, aim down sights time, or do you want better recoil? Because you really can't have it all. For one positive, there's always a negative, and that's where these attachments come into play. But personally for me, I think that the headshot damage multiplier in this game is far more superior than the body shot damage. So we're gonna go with the Krosnik 620 millimeter precision. Now this is gonna give us a decrease to body shot damage and sprint to fire time however we will be getting an increase to headshot damage as well as vertical and horizontal recoil now the next attachment that can affect your damage is going to be the magazine now the magazines you can get for the stg 44 are going to be the 762 Gorenko 30 round mag the 0 .30 russian short 20 round mag 8mm Curse 45 round drums, or the .30 Russian short 30 round mag. These are all the magazine attachments for the STG-44. Now again, you have to make a pretty substantial decision for this weapon as far as what is more important to you, because the magazine is all over the place. Your magazine attachment is going to affect your damage, your range, your fire rate, bullet velocity, movement speed, aimed on sights time, recoil, hip fire accuracy, reload quickness, starting ammo capacity, magazine ammo capacity, all over the board with the magazines for this weapon. Now personally in zombies I find more ammo to be more beneficial so I usually will go with the higher magazine size however getting that decrease in damage does hurt but if you get the highest damage output you're going to have a 20 round magazine which is not a lot to work with and as you get farther into the rounds you're going to run out of ammo eventually so you will need to buy more and if you have less ammo in the mag that means more ammo you'll have to buy sooner than later. So with that being said we're going to go with the 8mm Kurs 45 round drums. Now this is going to give us a slower movement speed and aim down sights time however we will get that increase to magazine ammo capacity starting ammo and normal ammo capacity all right so next up moving on to the muzzle attachments for the stg44 you can get the scythe compensator the mx silencer the t1 flash hider recoil booster mercury silencer cord muzzle brake or the f8 stabilizer these are all the muzzles for the stg44 now luckily your muzzles don't go all over the place like the magazines did as most of your muzzles are going to affect your recoil aim down sights time range and fire rate now fire rate is pretty interesting as increasing your fire rate is always good especially for assault rifles so with that being said we're going to go ahead and go with the recoil booster this will give us a 5.3 percent increase to fire rate but it will give us a decrease to horizontal recoil all right so next up moving on to all of the optics you can get for the stg44 there's a bunch of them so we'll real quickly go through them you have the nidar model 47 the g16 2.5x slate reflector mk3 sun filter zc2 135x lens m19 40 flip the k98 Scout 10X Telescopic, Monocular Reflector, 1913 Variable 4 to AX, Saturn 135 Lens, the ZF4 3.5 Rifle Scope, Type 99 Mod 2 7X Telescopic, the M38 Slate 2.5X Custom, Type 97 5X Telescopic, MK3 Mod 2 Sun Filter, MK12 Night Vision, MK3 Reflector, 1229 Slate 3.25X Custom, the SVT40 PU Scope 3 to 6X, MK18 Sun Filter, filter, MK8 reflector, the Krosnik ISO 1M, Krosnik ISO 2M. These are going to be all of the optics you can get for the STG44. Now of course optics are typically personal preference, however there is some slight stat differences between them all, including aimed on sights time and recoil. So with that being said, the optics that we're going to go with is going to be the MK3 reflector. It's just going to give us a light open reflex sight that gives us a pretty good peripheral view, and the reticle options for this as well are pretty good. Alright, so next up taking a look at all 
all the stocks you can get for the STG44. We have the Crossnick S11S Folding, the Constans Tactical Remove Stock, VDD27 Precision, or the VDD34S Weighted. These are all the stock attachments for the STG44. Now as far as your stocks go, most of these are going to be pretty similar as they're going to affect your movement speed, aim down sights, walking speed, sprint to fire time, aim down sights time, recoil, and of course hip fire accuracy. So with that being said, we're going to go with the Constans Tactical. Now this is going to give us a decrease to sprint to fire time as well as hip fire accuracy. However, we will get an increase to ADS walking speed, vertical and horizontal recoil, and idle sway control. All right, so next up, looking at all the underbarrel attachments for the STG44, we have the Carver Foregrip, M19 41 hand stop, M3 ready grip, bipod, GF59 flashlight, SMLE pistol grip, M1930 striped angle, bayonet, or the Mark VI skeletal. These are all the underbarrel attachments for the STG44. Now as far as your underbarrels go for this weapon, these are going to affect your aim down sights time, ADS walking speed, sprint to fire time, your recoil, and hip fire accuracy. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go with the M1941 hand stop. This is going to give us an increase to vertical and horizontal recoil. However, we will get a decrease to hip fire accuracy. And moving on to the rear grip attachments for the STG44, we have the rubber grip, taped grip, leather grip, fabric grip, grooved grip, hatched grip, polymer grip, pine tar grip, granular grip, or the stipled grip. These are going to be all the rear grip attachments for the STG44. Now, your rear grip attachments are mostly going to affect your ADS walking speed, sprint to fire time, aim down sights time, as well as your recoil control and hip fire accuracy. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go with the pine tar grip. Now, this will give us a decrease to aim down sights time. However, we'll get an increase to vertical and horizontal recoil, as well as our hip fire accuracy up. So if we put it all together, the best attachments for the STG44 and Vanguard Zombies, in my opinion. For the muzzle, we have the recoil booster. For the barrel, we have the Crossnick 620mm precision. For the optics, we're going to go with the MK3 reflector. For the stock, we're going to go with the Constance Tactical. For the underbarrel, we're going to go with the M1941 handstop. The magazine, we'll go with the 8mm Curse 45 round drums. And the rear grip, we're going to go with the Pine Tar grip. These are going to be, my opinion, the best attachments for the STG44 and Vanguard Zombies. If you guys use something different let me know in the comment section down below but i have done testing with different magazines and barrels and i think this is what the best overall setup will be next up moving on to the covenants i would recommend using with the stg44 this is going to be an assault rifle so you're going to want to pick your covenants out pretty importantly as it's going to affect your gameplay quite a bit now the first covenant that i think you should definitely keep an eye out for is going to be dead accurate successive shots on any enemy deal much more damage this works really well with an assault rifle as you're going to be able to keep hitting a target with multiple bullets. This works really well on the Sturm Kriegers as well as as you get into farther rounds. The other covenant you should definitely keep an eye out for is going to be Death Blow and this is going to help our ammo capacity later on. Critical kills return two bullets to the clip once you get this covenant up to legendary. So when you get a headshot it's going to return two bullets to your magazine which is highly beneficial especially for assault rifles. Once you get further in the rounds ammo becomes a lot more scarce and this covenant is definitely going to help with that. But those are my suggestions for covenants. There's of course other options you have. These are the two best I think you should use if you're going with the STG44. But let me know your favorite covenants in the comment section down below. That's going to be my weapon guide for the STG44. Again, these are just my recommendations, so let me know how you guys are enjoying Vanguard Zombies, the STG44, and what weapon you want to see me cover next. If this guide did help you out, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And remember, even though you might have to pay for Vanguard, likes and subs are free, so do the thing. If you want to check out my content on other platforms, I do post shorter guides as well as clips on Instagram. Instagram and TikTok. And I do live stream over on twitch.tv slash Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.